Welcome back to Don's Life. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. I have a big announcement to make. We are selling my BMW M4 and I think I have a pretty good reason. Let's go. So my story goes back about 15 months when I brought home someone else's C8 to warm my wife up. So a bit of a ploy to get her to approve if we could add a C8 to the Don's Life garage. In order to do that, at that time in that video too, I mentioned I might have to sell the M4, hoping not to have to, but I think it's the right move and I'll explain. Now at the time we knew it'd be a two year wait to even order a C8. So with the wife's endorsement around April, 2022, we put our $1,000 deposit to get on the list to order a C8. So fast forward to May, 2023, which is last month. I called the dealership to ask where I was on the wait list. They told me I was 29. However, there was a catch. If I was willing to pay a 10 to 15% markup over retail, over MSRP, then I could jump to the front of the line and place an order. I passed. According to my math and calculations, it just didn't make sense to jump the list 29 places to get a C8 early and pay an additional, what would be in Canadian dollars, probably an extra 10 to 15,000. Also in Canada, we have this new luxury tax. So anything over a certain spend, you have to pay a luxury tax on. So I wanted to keep my spend kind of right at the line so I didn't have to engage with that extra tax. So to me, it made sense to just pay MSRP. Now I do my best to try and keep up with what's going on with pressures from inflation, interest rates, supply chain, the general economy. And I figured if there's 28 people ahead of me on the list, some of those people, they're gonna get called, they're going to get cold feet and they're gonna back out of their allocation or their ability to place an order for a brand new Corvette C8. And I think I was right because only three or four weeks later, after I declined paying extra above MSRP, I got the call. So I'm happy to announce that I've officially given my full deposit for a 2023 Corvette C8 Stingray for the Dawn's Life channel. Let's go. Before we look at the build, which I'll share with you all the options that I picked out, I do a lot of modifications myself. So to spec it out right to the end with most of what's available, just doesn't make sense for me. So just keep that in mind as you start to think of all the things that are available and maybe why I didn't choose them. I promise you I did not skimp though, but let me explain why we have to sell the BMW. Now my 2015 BMW M4 is fully paid for. I bought it used, I'm the second owner, and right now the used market is still stronger than pre-pandemic. So right now is the time where I would still get a decent price for it and not take a total bath on it. All the depreciation has pretty much happened. It's really in a good position to sell and put it towards a C8. Now I have put just about $10,000 Canadian in upgrades to the M4, namely the carbon kit, the aftermarket AWE switch path exhaust. It has a stage one tune. There's a number of other little things that I've done, but as you can see, it does not look like your M4 that just left the showroom. It is definitely customized and looks pretty sweet. Whoever buys it gets a very fair deal very clean car, mechanically sound, well-kept, well-maintained, very, very good condition. And they can choose to buy it with all the mods or I'll strip the car and sell them separately. So the benefit to the new owner is they could buy it like this and just get in and enjoy it and not have to do anything. Now I will be removing the wrap because in my experience, everyone wants to know what the paint looks like underneath and regardless of what you tell them, and I really can't blame them. They wanna know exactly what they're getting. So the purple wrap will be no more. There'll be a new video in the near future so you get to see what it looks like. It's original white. I think it's a mineral metallic. And uh, you'll get to see what that looks like with all the carbon fiber and the add-ons, but in its original color. Now, based on comments on my channel, I know there's many of you that just don't understand the BMW M ownership experience, but I can tell you this is a first-rate sports car. It is balanced, performs exceptionally well, and if you maintain it, it's super reliable, at least this generation. I love this car. I'm going to be sad to see it go, but if I sell it, and I don't absolutely have to sell it, but I think it's the right financial decision but if we sell it it's going to take a huge chunk out of the cost of the c8 corvette that's also important because it will give me cash flow to be able to start doing things to the c8 whereas if i kept this and financed the c8 i would have less opportunity to do things to the c8 right
right out of the gates. Now I'm gonna take an opportunity to address the AT4 upgrade. I would have already upgraded my AT4. I get asked this a lot in the comments, a lot of emails as well, but I haven't mainly because, well, one, the interest rates. So why would I increase my payment just for some upgrades to the exterior and interior? So unless interest rates come down to what I'm paying right now, which in that case, if they did, I'd probably go get a 2023 or 2024 GMC Sierra AT4, at least I'd strongly consider it. But I'd also like to see what's on the horizon for the full refresh, not just the mid-cycle refresh, which we've already seen. So the AT4 is something that I definitely want to upgrade. I haven't done everything to the one that I have. If you may have been watching the other videos, it has a full color change on it. There's a part two coming out after this video launches. So I know you'll want to check out that. But yeah, I want to upgrade the AT4 as well. All right, now I know you're curious about the C8 spec, so I have the worksheet right here. Let's go through the options. So I decided to go with the coupe and not the convertible. One, I'll get a little more storage. And where I live, I wouldn't be able to use the convertible features really that often. Plus with the coupe, you can still take off part of the roof. Now as for trim, and because I'm saving money on the convertible costs going with the coupe, I went with the 3LT trim. It has more standard options and things that I would have wanted to add on anyway. So I went with 3LT. Now I went with black and not carbon flash because of the costs. If I wanted to go carbon flash, you have to go with the full 70th anniversary edition. It is pretty cool and has some custom interior treatments and some extra badges but honestly for the extra cost I didn't really want to go that way so I'm going just black but then I can also wrap it which is always easier dark colors are just easier to wrap they're more forgiving when it comes to the seams and the gaps that's a white car but it's a pain in the butt to wrap as an example plus since this is a 2023 it's still a 70th anniversary Corvette and it will have one badge in it from what I know but it's not going to have the full official 70th anniversary edition badging that you can get now the new Corvette does have some nicer wheels available from when it originally launched. So I chose what I thought were pretty nice gloss black 20 spoke wheels, but it turns out they're constrained. So I'm getting the silver version and I could always powder coat them later. For the interior, we went with adrenaline red highlights. So the seats are gonna be adrenaline red and there's gonna be some accents on the door panels and the dash, but I did not wanna go full red. I just wanted something to highlight it a bit. So that's why I went that way. I also checked off the stealth interior trim, which just takes the speaker grills and some areas by the door handle handles and instead of having them being like a bright polished aluminum uh, they're a darker version more stealth now i do have my list in front of me we added the z51 package which gives us the lsd limited slip differential the performance axle brembo brakes performance exhaust the z51 rear spoiler the z51 performance suspension and the heavy duty cooling system as well as the high performance summer only tires. I'm really excited too because I've added the transparent roof. So the removable roof, instead of just being body colored or paying extra for carbon fiber, I paid a little bit extra and essentially it is like a moon roof that doesn't open, but you can see through it when it's installed. Since the car is gonna be pretty much black everywhere, I went with the black exhaust tips as well instead of chrome. I've also added the front lift. It's pretty much a no brainer. It's something that's needed and it's not something you can easily add later. Now this one was a tough omission for me, but I did not go with the magnetic ride control I know that it rides a little smoother than what I hear when it comes to just the Z71 performance suspension, but I just couldn't justify the price and knowing that there's a chance I might swap out the suspension at some point, so I didn't go with it. So that's my big news. I'm going to be sad to see the BMW M4 go, but I think the Corvette C8 will be a better fit for my audience and my channel, and I can always look at buying another one down the road depending on how the channel performs. So I'd love to expand the car collection, but we're going to sacrifice sacrifice one car and get into another project. So if you're watching this video for the first time, you're new to the channel, this might be a good time to subscribe. Not only do we have a lot of other projects on the go, but you'll be in on the ground floor when it comes to what we're gonna do with the Corvette C8, which is only a few months away. In the meantime, I've got a lot going on, lots to do. We gotta unwrap the M4, bring it back to white. You get to see it with all the carbon added on, get to see what that looks like. Got lots of plans for the Escalade still. Got the AT4 back there. I'm actually going to Montana. By the time you watch this video, I could be in Montana, picking up some things for the AT4. So stick around, we've got lots going on. But if you like today's video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing and we'll talk to you next time.